The Minister of Works assessing the infrastructural demands on the island of Eleuthera, Cleopatra Murphy, tells us tonight that the minister highlighted a project that can be a model for the rest of this country. Minister of Public Works, the Honorable Desmond Bannister and a team from the Ministry of Works and Bahamas Power and Light arrived on Eleuther Thursday morning to take a look at infrastructural works on the island. The two-day trip started in Rock Sound with an initial stop at the government dock and then the homecoming site where area member of Parliament Hank Johnson highlighted the need for a new docking facility, stating that the water is too shallow, forcing mailboats that service the community to go to Governor's Harbor. And we have the view that if we are provided with a new docking facility here in Rock Sound, it can be used for multi-purpose in this area where we would use it for docking for international vessels, mailboat services, and, and include, if you notice we have a lot of sailboats, yacht boats coming, it'd be used for that. And if it's done properly, then the regatta site and the homecoming site can be used in that same area. From there, the Public Works Minister visited the Cape Eleuther Institute that he says is a model for the Bahamas in renewable energy and its use in the country. They create more energy than they use. So they are actually now, at this time of day, exporting energy to the grid that other people can benefit from. And uh, that has to be the future of what we do in the family islands. That's the uh, mission that the government has for all the family islands. And we already have the studies for every for six major family islands where we can actually come in and, and have the solar uh, power utilized in a manner that's productive and helps communities. Next on the agenda was a stop in Governor's Harbor, where the Public Works Minister inspected the $250,000 seawall and roadworks project completed last April. The project included 500 linear feet of seawall and senior engineer in the Ministry of Public Works, Robert Moses, says they were pleased with the outcome. At the, the road, there were some major sinkholes in, in the road, so what we had to do was do a repair job on, on, the, on the road. So what we had to do was excavate down uh, and sort of plug, plug the holes in the wall to stop fill being washed out. Uh, and um, we've gone up and built the road up with concrete and we finished the road off in a, as a concrete road. So there's a, a 10 to 12 inch concrete slab road uh, with, with the parapets, as you can see, along the, the side. So. From there, the minister and his delegation visited the Water and Sewerage Corporation's Governor's Harbor site, the Glass Window Bridge, the future site of the Water and Sewerage Corporation's reverse osmosis plant in the Bogue, and the North Eleuthera High School, where an expansion project is currently underway. Cleopatra Murphy. Set Network News.